Call this meeting of why I came to the court to order uh, on this March the 9th, 2021 at 5 p.m. I want to call on Jim Duke, who is with us from the Sugar Grove Church of Christ, to lead us in a prayer and a pledge to play. Let us pray. Father in heaven, thank you for the opportunity to gather here today to do your work and to make decisions to make our community better. Help us that we may do so in a way that you find pleasing and it will follow your directions. We thank you, pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We have to get it all submitted by April 1st. And we've got a lot to do, the major and all that stuff. And he's got to come out and help. Um, we have the minutes of the uh, February 23rd, 2020. Uh, Made it in front of you. I make a motion to approve. Mo motion by Sam. Second. Second by Larry Morphew. Is there any questions, corrections, or additions? Or discussion, corrections, or additions? <coughs> Being none, all in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say the same. Motion carried. Minutes are approved. Before you have the bills, claims, payments, and transfers. And there is no late list, is there? Yes. Yeah, there is a, with, including the late list. Uh, Moved by Larry Cam. Second. Second by Sam Small. Is there any questions or, or uh, discussion? Any discussion? Discussion on the bills, claims. Being none, Miranda Rowe called that one. Cam? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Close the bank account number 303674 for road fund savings. Why, why, why? Let's have the motion a second, then we'll then, uh, analyze. Is that the one we kind of put? We haven't used it in several years. Okay. Motion by Joe Barnes. Second. Second by Larry Cam. Yeah. Uh, okay, discussion. Questions, Frank? I got my answer. <clears throat> it just has what three thousand dollars we're transferring it out. Uh, sixteen hundred, I think, and it'll go into the regular road fund checking. Well, I didn't understand. Isn't that in here? In the well, that's the way the accounting is. The way you have to move accounts. It's only an actual sixteen hundred that's being moved. Okay, so that's why they're, they're probably spread down to double. Yeah, it, okay. it's the accounting method that they require us to use. Yeah, one side, yeah. yeah, well, but see, you did it twice. Oh. So I just didn't understand that. They're okay. all a different account number. Right. So I'm say aye. Right. Uh, Post like Sam, uh, that bank account will be closed. And what was the two? I didn't understand that. Well, it's the accounting method that the state makes us use. I have to transfer it once within the account, and then out of the account, and then into the other one. So it's four entries to do that one thing. Here it went into four different accounts. Yeah. yeah. By the not, time it's done. Let's not try to make it complicated. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, no fault of yours. Uh, the uh, Treasurer's February 2021 financial statement uh, is before you. Uh, we need to acknowledge with God. I'll make a motion. motion. Second. Have a motion by Sam, second by Joe. Any discussion? Our question. Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Uh -huh. like sign, pass. The clerk's February financial report, I don't see her here, so. You have it. So uh, we, we would like to. Make a motion. Uh, motion met by Joe Bond. Second. Second by Jason. Yeah, we got it right here. Jason Bullock. Uh, any discussion or questions? Being none, all in favor say aye. Hold the like sign. Motion carries. Uh, this next one, number eight, is a resolution that backs up 
what the public hearing was about a while ago. But this is so just that we're going to apply for the money. Is it a uh, community development grant? Yes. It's, co it's COVID-19, but it's utility relief and goes through CDBG. I mean, the motion to, or would he just let you sign this? Or? To sign the resolution to apply, yes. Yeah. And all for responding documentation. Motion by Second by Sue. I'll second. Second to Joe Barnes. Any discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like so. Motion carries. Along that line, Bo is going to apply for a land and water grant. Uh, you put down a monetary value that's a contribution, but that will all be done with his manpower, his equipment, and uh, all that sort of thing. You know, within park resources, all the match will be from that. I'll make a motion. Motion for Joe Barnes. Second. Second with Sam Small. Any discussion? That's what the 20% is? Uh, yes. 91,000 projected. The land and what are y'all doing first? The land, land water. water. That'd yeah. be 168,000. I got 163. 163.309. Let me look on my paper. That's close enough. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. It is 163. I thought I had it mixed up. Thank you, Bill. So, uh, is there any discussion or more questions? No. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed like sign. Motion carries. Uh, same deal on the recreational trails. Identical situation. We haven't even applied for it. He's got to come up with the match in, the, in his equipment, road department equipment, and his manpower and all. So Motion by Larry Cannon. Second. Second by Larry Morphy. Is this just re you gonna resurface or what do you? Yeah, so what we're gonna try to do on this uh, rec trail grant is we're gonna try to resurface it and do, still go along with the lighting project that we originally started on for the solar panel mm -hmm. lights and stuff like that. Okay. But if they don't get it, it don't be just dies. Nice. Yeah. Where's that one? It's the This one right here? Yeah. I, I don't even know what you forget. Mine says 20. 21-10, but on the... It is. The agenda, I had to read back and go back and renumber. Oh, it's it, 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 it's yeah. the same one. Just ignore the number at the top. Uh, oh, there's the word. This recreational trail. Right there. That's the one. Okay. Okay. I think this one's going to be the 12. That's the one for the... Uh, that one's the community grant for the common um, area, the first one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No further yeah, discussion. Like yeah, All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sound. Right now I have the distinct pleasure of introducing to you our corner, Elvis Doolin. He's got a presentation he wants update he wants to give you. <laughs> Judge Johnson, Justin, members of the court. I uh, just wanted to give y'all a quick overview of what we've been doing here at the coroner's office and uh, thank you, the court, for all its help what, that y'all have done to help me since I started. Unfortunately, you've been busy, haven't you? Yes, uh, and, uh, I brought with me tonight the uh, records of 2019 and 2020. It sort of broke it down for you as to uh, this is 2020 cases for what we've been doing. Pass them down? Yeah. Pass them down. This is 2019 cases here. There's more 2020. Two more. Two more, guys. Okay. Just right over there. Here's one. This one here. Oh, there's y'all too. That one. Hey, Elvis. And here's the other. You want to step this way a little? Yeah. No, I'll wait. Oh, these are some kind. Can we, uh, this is 20. You got 21, Judge
appreciated that because it saved us uh, a lot of time, a lot of hard trips in the night that we might have had to went to Madisonville or Louisville and bad weather and such and that that cooler we was able to store the bodies there until we could make other arrangements and I appreciate that. We've, uh, uh, I'd like to introduce my deputy, my new deputy, Donnie Pearson. Uh, Gary had started with me, but uh, he had to go back to New Jersey, and so Donnie uh, came along, and I'm appreciative of him. He has experience in dealing with uh, funeral homes and such, and uh, bodies, and he's been a really an asset to my department. Uh, we recently had purchased a new stretcher for, for the ambulance and needed that the one I was using was in bad condition and uh, wheel was broke off and such and so made that possible for me and David has recently got us a vehicle coming a four-wheel drive which is needed in bad weather the van it's okay but we couldn't go sometime in snow and ice with it and now that we're getting this vehicle that'll be be a plus to us also. Uh, there are just a few minor things that I still could use uh, if y'all could see a way to help me with that. Uh, we, we need a bathroom in the morgue. We don't have a place uh, we can wash our hands, but when we're working in the night, the wee hours in the morning, we you know, need to go to the bathroom. I don't have a place over there nor do we have one in the office, and I don't want to be pilfering around in the community center after hours, so that would be something that I'd like for you to look at if it could be possible. And uh, uh, we do need a physical address there too, David, uh, because so many times when ties come from Louisville to pick up a body, uh, they need a physical address for the for the location of that. And uh, of course, I know the court is burdened all the time with people wanting money, but if y'all do, when budget time comes around, could see a way to have any extra, could see a way to help us with that, it would be appreciated, especially so I could give my deputy a raise. And uh, actually, uh, I have a Jamie over at Dank's funeral home has helped with my computer work and putting in cases where we've been falling behind. And uh, uh, maybe if we could have a PRN, just, uh, just she doesn't work very often, but there's times when Donnie and I are both gone out of the county. And it would be nice to have somebody deputized in case it was a bad car wreck or something that could fill in for us till we get back. In other instances, when we've gone off to school, I uh, don't really have anybody take our place. Just being so, strictly part-time. Yeah, just, uh, well, just when we need her, and that, that wouldn't be that often, but there is times, like when we're on car wrecks or something, we transport transporting the body to Louisville. The Madisonville is not on call all the time, and they rotate, so in those times when they're not on call, we 
have autopsy to be done, it has to be transported to Louisville. So it would be a blessing to have another position if you got the money. You know, I know everybody's after money, but uh, I'd be obliged to you. Do you all have any questions of me? Mr. Doolin? Yes, sir. I noticed on the bills and claims, you had that data entry. Yeah, that's. 23 hours and uh, roughly for him to enter that data. Yeah. How, how much by well, time? that's over over several weeks' time right. working now and then. And yeah, yeah. But just just to enter all the information for the records in the well, computer. It's a, yeah, it's a case. Uh, it's a the coroner's ME uh, case files. What it is that we enter all the cases into the data into the database. Okay. That's what you've been working on. Right. Jay, Josh is working on getting an estimate for that bathroom, but yes. they've been slow getting it back. Yeah, he's getting that on the way. There's not one deal fire station? That, the part of that, I don't have access to okay. it. I just okay. have access to the one bay and it's a, you know, we've got a wash basin in the back where we wash our hands clean can up. We get, is there a bathroom in the other part of it so we can get access to it? Actually, I don't think there is a work put in the because the department used. Police, Police department uses it. Right here, it's right the police station's right at the back of it there. Right at the police station. I'm pretty sure it's not. The old one. Yeah, the old, the old yeah. 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 yeah, they go to their police department. Yeah. The police do just got the other part of it. Yeah. So you've you got a place to walk, you know, wash up and everything? I do have a wash basin when we get done dealing with our work. We do have a place to wash. Do we get that resolved, Judge? Can we not just, can we get them on a port body put over there at least where he is? Yes. Because it's middle of the night, you know. Yeah. We'll get that. It won't be very long, though. We'll be working on it. Okay. It's, of course, death is unpredicted, and but a, lot, a majority of our calls comes in in the nighttime and one, two, three o'clock in the morning. And uh, like I say, we can get by without it, but it would be a blessing if we had it. And I don't want to make any unnecessary demands on the court, because I know everybody's needing money. But, uh, and you have it, you know. I appreciate you that. Everything you've done for us. Well, uh, yeah, we appreciate everything. It's, it's a it's a hard job. Uh, you, uh, I think so far we've done a pretty good job. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't hear any complaints. I'm not trying to be up here boasting, but I think we've done a pretty good job thus far. If another, if another magistrate or two will go in with me, we'll pay for that order body until they get the bathroom. How long do you think it'll be, Jerry? I mean, I'm going to say we won't be very much. Try to stop it. I'm going to get somebody on that. I'll just have a nice take. 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 I'll just Three to four, somewhere like that would be my estimate. Okay. If one foot left, it'll move back. You think we need it, we'll get your porta potty yeah. if we don't? I think we can do without that until something can be done okay. about it. And the mold over there, if it could help, you know. If you feel the need to, and it's yeah. not progressing along as fast as you think it ought to, yeah. holler at it. That's okay. okay. That uh, data interest in there, uh, Judge, is, is there anybody we already have on payroll that maybe can help? Uh, Put some in there for them every once in a while. Uh, I'll look into that. Uh -oh. I can't off the top of my head say who could do it. But anyway, uh, with that being said, I appreciate the invitation to come to speak to you. Thank you. Okay, so we really appreciate everything you do. Okay, thank you. Appreciate it. I'm not ready to. I'm going to be good too. Um, <laughs> Judge, if I may, this is actually the address. Yes. The question. Uh, with what Jamie's been doing for us with the data entry, I think you had questions about that. Um, basically, the information that's being input is not or should not be for just average eyes, I guess would be the best terminology. With Jamie Renfro, 
being accustomed to that information, the nature of the information that's going into the system with her working at the funeral home, then that would still meet the privacy part, you know, but a lot of the information that we have and we deal with shouldn't be for just anybody. Okay. If, that, if that might elaborate some on your okay. question. Um, at the last meeting, we uh, uh, opened the ambulance bids and read them aloud. And our ambulance uh, guys here, somebody's got those notes, uh, what they were and who they were. Uh, Jim has a recommendation, it is the lowest bid, so I think that that's going to be a good thing. Go ahead and tell us, Jim. Y'all don't mind, I'll just stand out here. I don't have anything to hand you, so I don't have to get up there. These ladies don't mind me being behind them. Uh, yes, I think our low bid was Select Tech. Select Tech's the company that we've used here in Ohio County at least two other times. We've had real good luck with them. We've also used them on a number of jobs throughout some of the other communities that we work with. We've probably done seven or eight ambulances with Select Tech. They do good work. They're down in Tennessee. Uh, fortunately, they were the low bid. If they hadn't been low, I would have probably been here trying to convince you all we'd be better off going with them anyway because they do good work. And uh, what was the bid on that? Can you oh, no, you all have them. I, I think it was a, around. Maybe around eighty thousand, Larry. She's got it there. Select eighty-four thousand three hundred eighty-eight dollars and forty cents. And they were the lowest. Case. It was a pretty good little. Mm -hmm. It was about five or six thousand. Yeah, I think, uh, I think well, let's make that into a motion. I'll make the motion for that amount for the side deck. I'll second. The uh, the ambulance yeah, that you're we'll remounting, we we've, we've had real good luck with the remount process. These boxes, I, Larry, will remember this has been a long time ago. But I convinced the court to to purchase good ambulance boxes so that instead of having to replace them every six or seven years we could do a remount and we've remounted some of these ambulances now twice and and I currently don't see any time in the, in the foreseeable future that those boxes should not continue to be remountable so unless we were God forbid to wreck one or have one burn up or something along that line I don't see us having a need to purchase a new ambulance I don't know when we'll ever have to, you know. Yeah, I guess one of these days they'll fall apart, but they're nowhere near it now. You'll do a good job keeping them up. Well, we work pretty hard at, at keeping them well maintained, uh, and that helps a whole lot. But uh, they're good boxes, or welded aluminum, and we've had real good luck with them. So, Select Tech's who we would recommend. Uh, I'm hoping that we can prepay for the chassis, and because my concern is. Some of the money we've got to do this with that you all received is through the Board of EMS. Some of that money has to be spent before July 1st. So we're going to be working with them to see if we can prepay for the chassis because I don't think, being as we're kind of getting a late start this year, that we can get this ambulance completed to where you all will be paying for this probably until after the 1st of July. I'm thinking probably August. I think they give you 120 days and it'll take every bit of it. Um, but that that could be a concern. I just don't want us to get in a position where we have to send any money back. Okay. You know, yeah, absolutely. Stay. absolutely. But uh, and also, I'd like to ask the court if we could, sometime between now and the next court meeting, if we could maybe have a meeting with whoever your ambulance committee is, Judge, to just discuss the upcoming year and the COVID expenses that that we're still working on, and and make sure we're all transparent on what's going on there. We'll do. It. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you all. Uh -huh. And uh, that, uh, Miranda, if you didn't hear it, Sam made the motion, and uh, yeah. Joe seconded. Yeah. To write the check. Brian to write the check. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, any discussion? Only thing I would say, Jim, is the one I wrote in, and I ain't sure which one it was. I didn't blacktop that driver's road or something because they kept hitting every bump I leave. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they hit every bump. You yeah. may have been in the four-wheel drive truck, and it does ride a little rougher, but it sure I would be pulling their legs. With all the ice and snow hits. Sam, it could be a lot worse. You could be riding with Marcus. So. <laughs> <laughs> that was on car yeah. road where that bump was at. <laughs> that, that was, hey, y'all have a good one. Thank you all. Yeah. That was interesting. The people at Norton's Hospital was betting. Larry Morphy and I that we couldn't get y'all to come up there and get it. Yeah. Oh, we, we won that bet. Is your meat laying in the back of that Bronco coming on? Uh, Absolutely. <laughs>
there's going to be another issue that involves you in a little bit, Jim. I can tell you about tomorrow. Or I can, you can stay and listen to it either way you want. Okay. Um, okay. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign? That's, uh, that motion is passed. The next item on your agenda is uh, Downey Lane. We're going to uh, scrape that. We're going to do it at the next meeting. Uh, Justin's writing the motion for it. Because um, it's, it's, it's not really an extension, it's a correction of a map. Um, Justin's a, You're just going to table it then until the next Yeah, he, Justin's writing the motion. Um, we're going, uh, Justin's asked for a closed session, for a very closed session under KRS, uh, the chapter one. Section C and F. So moved. Okay. With him staying. Well, yeah, hey, can, can we go out of order a little bit? Let me go in and tell what, yeah. what, what yeah. Jimmy stayed here. I'm sorry. We'll get back to this in a minute. Um, I'm going to appoint Jim Duke to the airport board, effective now for his four-year term. So, uh, I do put the name up. We got to do a roll call, Miranda. Hold, hold on. What, what board? Airport. Okay. So, roll call, Miranda. Cam? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Um, well, we'll get back to the next. Now then, let's, the motion's already been made. The second is first going to post this. That's, okay. Uh, Joe recommended that go ahead and do the library board appointment too. Well, I just wanted to make sure we didn't get anything mixed up. That's no, I'll go ahead and do that. Okay. Do the library board appointment. I'm appointing uh, Helen McCown on the recommendations of the uh, Education Workforce Development Cabinet in Franklin. Uh, so I'll put up that name, Helen McCown. Cam? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Now then, let's do the post session. Uh, I just make the motion. motion. Second. All in favor? Join me in the back room. Hopefully, it won't be very long. I make a motion to go back into session. Second. I'll first say aye. We're back, and I will say for the public record, there was no business connect, uh, uh, conduct. conduct. We didn't make any motions back there. Didn't flip any more coins either. Uh, so, uh, before our committee reports, uh, I've got a little bit more things here I want to talk about. A couple of things where we've been asked for money. The Ohio County High School for the project graduation. It's, it's, well, they didn't specific, specify the amount. They'd like to just make a contribution to project graduation. We should have last year or year before? Yeah, we could do it every year. Well, well, how much did we do last year now? If you remember, a couple it's hundred, wasn't it? $250 of each, you know, out of your discretionary, usually. Okay, I'm okay with that. I'll make a motion we give, if everybody, y'all okay with 250 I'll and make a, What's the money used for? <coughs> At graduation, instead of, after graduation, instead of kids leaving and possibly going and drinking, uh, they have basically a party the whole night till the next morning. They lock them they, in. They don't let you leave. Are they they going to be able to do that? Well, they, they give, give away prizes well, out. Now, this year it's stated in their letter that they're not going to be able to do that, so they're going to try to do something else instead. It's stated in that letter. I okay. forgot what it is. I have, I've read it in two weeks. David, you have it. What does it say? They're I'll make a motion of, that we give $250. I'll second that. Motion second. Two, 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 See what you're going to do with the money. Yeah. It says well, in that letter. Should be able to tell. Oh, I'll talk to Kathy Gladell. She's the one at high school. She does what I do at high school, she's and I'll check with her. Food, yeah. I mean, you know what they're going to do? They used to do. They used to do food and gifts. They give out yeah. drawings through the you night. You know what they want to do at project graduation? Well, as much as the seniors have had to deal with, my business. Yeah. Yeah. 
They did drawings like every hour. Yeah. Okay. I just like being informed of what they're doing. It, yeah. It, Second, I'm afraid to say aye. Opposed, like aye. Okay. One more. Audubon area. That's another thing we've done over year. What did we get last year? It's usually 250 and 750. Is that what it is? 500 and 750? Does that come out of discretion? It doesn't. No. Have, we didn't. No, we we didn't always, from, uh, what about the, I mean, are they only asking, is it used to be the. No, they're asking for $2,750. That's a little bit more than they used to ask. That, that, I believe that, I don't know if it is or not. No, that's. that's what it usually is. 750 for the foster grandparents program. RSVP is a thousand and senior companion program is a thousand. Well they do it for money. Well I know the foster grandparents they pay people to elderly people to go into schools and be mentors for kids as far as the RSVP and there aren't there some that go to the homes of these senior yeah. parents and checks on on and stuff like that. And what was the other deal? RSVP, uh, that's a, a volunteer group that helps seniors. Yeah. To, and then the senior companion program is just that they send people to people's houses to stay with them. You know, that's what the parents are supposed to do. You're true, but. I think this is like partial, it's to keep it. I think it's not, we're not we, funding the whole program. I would entertain a motion to do that from reserves. With oh, that I made a motion, Larry second. Where's that money coming from? Reserves. You know, if I do that for you and Larry and myself and Sam, but we get no yeah, right. right. If y'all need help, I'll come sit with you. You can come sit with you. Okay, all folks out. Both right. like that. Thank you. Okay. Are there any committee reports? Uh, I was, the only committee is we have an insurance committee at 10 o'clock on Friday. Uh, we're going to discuss the health insurance for uh, employees in the county. And we do have a jail committee. Uh, finally, we have that scheduled. You get, I think, the 25th. Day. 25th at 10 a.m. Yes. We can uh, plan to stay a little while if you can. I want to take those to get to lunch after we oh, talk. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, insurance, what's this ballpark? What's it go up every year? How much percent? Uh, Last year it was only like 2%. We've had as high as 8%. So we should be getting within the next four weeks uh, what our increase will be. And you did look at the state and the state is... Yeah, one thing about the state is you, if you go with the state, you have to confirm for three years and you have to pay on the family uh, insurance if anybody wants it or the employee spouse so you're forced it's, you know, even though it's not requested you still have to we if do, an employee we, we wants to offer it you have to offer it well, we, we offer it now don't we yeah but the state requires you to pay a portion of it oh. a large portion yeah now we pay a portion of it even then but I know that uh, how much are you talking about a large portion? We don't pay a portion of the families anymore. No. We used to. We dropped no. that. Well, we you used to pay 40%. No, yeah, no, no, no. We only pay the employee right now. Uh, you know, a family policy is typically $1,800 a month. I'm going to say, and I'm trying to remember, possibly 50% you would have to pay. And uh, we have had people that their spouse's insurance would not pay I wouldn't do it because we offered it, even though it was too costly, they couldn't afford it, it was offered. So sometimes it's a disservice if we offer it. If you put a pencil to it, uh, even with paying that, uh, the, the monies for the family plan, is, is it uh, enough offset to, to look at the state plan? Well, we renew on July 1, so we'll have to go ahead and do that. The state does not renew until October and their rates won't be out. So I have a file on it and at that time I will follow up with them and see what it is. Okay. 
and report yeah. back to us? Yes, yeah. I will. Okay. Yeah. We have a committee. We're trying to look into it the best as yeah. we can. You have the voter from last year. Uh, many counties yeah. go with KCO like we do, but yeah, there's some that don't. There's other options. Street the one is committed to look at that and see if we're going to look at the state plan or even other. Yeah. Uh, and I'm not for sure on the 50%. I'm trying to remember. But it was substantial. I think last year we talked about this when we done away with the payment plan. One person in so long, and I don't know, I've slept since then, but I know who that one person yeah. was, and it was because my wife lost her job, or quit her job yeah. and moved at one point, and it was high. It was bad. High. Yeah. But it covered her butt, you know. Well, for years, I don't think, I mean, we've had any more than three or four people. Yeah, but if you offered it and we had to pay part of it, you might have more. Yeah, but, in the, but even when we were offering it, of course we weren't paying. I mean, right. well, we, we paid a little bit of times we did, like I said. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But it's gone up. It's, it's a problem. That's why I wanted the you know, committee to meet and kind of report back to us. At, uh, well, that meeting scheduled for 10 o'clock on Friday. Okay. It'll be a Zoom meeting. There'll be one, there'll be three things you do. Uh, one, you'll meet that, then you'll meet with the insurance company again, back with Keiko, and then uh, you'll make the report to the court at the uh, uh, April uh, meeting. Uh, any other committee reports? If there aren't any, we'll go on to the, uh, the COVID-19 report. Uh, we are doing better, but we can't let our guard down. Uh, I'm not going to give you the numbers the way I've been get, given them. Uh, we've been having between 30 and 40 new cases a week the last few weeks, uh, which is much, much better than it used to be. Uh, and that's, that's a good thing. However, the counties around us is having much fewer than that. Like today, we had eight in the uh, some of the counties around us had one and zero. So we're not doing as good as others, even though we've gone down so much, so sub a substantial amount we've gone down. Uh, so uh, that's a good thing. But uh, uh, we've got a ways to go. And our death rate is higher than anybody else's, so that figure still works. The, the death rate I gave you is at 48 and probably more. Uh, the kicker out there too that's confused our numbers is uh, we were trying to take the number of cases we had total and subtract the number of uh, uh, recovers and the number of the deaths and then we had this number left that that was our active cases. To come to find out there's 162 in our county that they never reported back or was not able to reach. They tested positive but we don't have any records that they recovered or, or if they recovered or if they passed. Probably more, a whole lot more recovered than anything, but we don't have the documentation to show that. So uh, right now we're going to quit talking about that figure because uh, I was unaware of that until this week that we had this uh, 162 positive cases that we don't know what became of. They never was reported back to the health department. Uh, but still, we'll tell you, please, socially distance, wear your mask, be careful. We're going in the right direction, but let's just please continue to go that direction. Vaccinations is way up. We've really given a lot of vaccinations in our uh, county in the last two weeks. Uh, I'm going to say a couple thousand in the last two weeks from all those different areas. Uh, Rice Drug Store started giving the uh, J&J, &J. of course they run out now. But they started giving it last week, and, uh, uh, and, and uh, a lot of people like that idea because there's only one shot. But they did it, and, and I don't think it's hardly as effective. So if you got an appointment to get any of them, get it. Don't, don't back up. I know most of our employees now that want to have an appointment for this later this month. I got my second dose on Friday. So. Good deal. Good deal. Actually, yeah, I didn't have any problems at all. I think some of them did, but I think uh, somebody said that means my immune system was shot, so I don't know if that's good or bad. So, yeah. well, my body didn't fight it. Judge, do you have anything for number 15? Item number 15? No. Okay. <coughs> we uh, discussed that in there, and we're going to resolve it with uh, 
emergency order. Uh, well, now we're ready for magistrates, reports, and requests. I'll start with District 1, Sam. Uh, I have nothing, Judge. Thank you. Okay, Jay. Well, I see Renette out there. I want to thank her for her service. I found out she's ten better herself, and I don't blame her for doing it, but I appreciate everything you've done for her. She's been a really good employee. Been here for several years, and yeah. we'll certainly miss her. Uh, Joe. Uh, <clears throat> just kind of brought my attention back on to the village claims, the uh, uh, tornado siren. Did we get a report? They're, here. They're in the county. Yeah. Should be put up soon. Okay, so the new ones. The others were supposedly all mm -hmm. intended to be fixed. And, and I believe Fordsville and uh, Rockport should have been fixed. That's why I was wondering. It should be. If we've got no report on that for sure. Well, I, I'll find out for sure, but it, I, it was supposed to be, yes. Okay. But now I didn't hear it blow, so we need to get some way down and try to listen to it. Uh, I just like to check because we're going into. Yeah, spring weather, you know. We're putting up some new ones. We're going to put one in the Echoes area too pretty soon. Not that direct. How many is it all together? Can I just, do you have any idea? About 15. Uh, and it's been a wonderful thing to have. Uh, it is a nightmare to keep them up and running and, I, and kept them, keep them going. And of course, they're no good at all sticking up on poles if they don't blow. <laughs> yeah, what the? What uh, what sets them off? I mean, uh, the last time I heard that one in Fortville, the storm and the wind and the blowing rain came through and the uh, siren went off, went off afterwards. Well, and the uh, where does that who designates when they need to go off? Is that the weather weather service people. Weather service. Out of local area. Yeah. Yeah. Local, and Fridays. Local weather service calls Ohio County. Is it low or is it still? It's local. Well, is there not? We might be And we don't get the one at Paducah where we get the one out of Louisville. But a couple of years ago, or probably about 10 years ago, I guess, I went to a meeting uh, at Atlanta Police Lake about it. And Ohio County, they decided that they could get those over Louisville. So if anything happened to Ohio County, they warn all the other counties. That's exactly what the man told us. Yeah. Yeah, he said. We're not going to let you stay in the Pacific area. We're going to put you in Louisville area. So, tornado hits Ohio County, then they can notify Rick, then the rest of the county is on us. Yeah. Okay. That's what they told us. Uh, yeah, I, I thought it was how the, the weather said. service done it. I wasn't sure if Louisville. Yeah, because yeah. most of our weather comes from us, but it is. Yeah. I mean, it usually blows in that direction. <laughs> but, uh, but then we have an internal deal for the testing that uh, to Charlie's department. Fire services that can test them, and that's how the fire test come out. Um, okay, uh, Larry. Yeah, I just want to echo what Jason said. We appreciate your service and that dedicated service over the years, and wish you the best. Thank you. Larry, that's all right. Yeah, yeah I want to appreciate what Renetta her role she done, and I like to say I wish her the best. Hey, Sarah, go. Yeah, I do too. And uh, Justin? Justin, yeah. I've got one more thing. Oh, I'm sorry. When, uh, when will they be fixing what they put a tile in out in Stewart Acres and they still have <coughs> They walk her over now and put a little uh, rock in it, but when will they blacktop it or chip it, seal, whatever they do to it? One of the other very soon the sun <coughs> warms up enough that the paving companies get out. If it was blacktop, it should be blacktop. It will, yeah. Too, yeah. It will. First time Scotty's in the area blacktop and anything, they'll drop in and turn it. We need to put that on the list. I had it last year, and they still haven't got it. Sorry about that. We probably need an old paper, old paper, whatever, just to do it, even if it's out of the back of your truck. Yeah, because they're not going to make that a priority to come out there and get yeah, that right. Well. And we probably need to look at something. Joe, you're on that committee. I would need to look at something that will put down a little. We got rollers, so uh, that at least, at least may make it better than the rock. State that. has something like that. Let's see, we might see what well, we got. Uh, what we haven't done, but I, I think we've been chasing our tails with the pile patcher. You know, yeah. they, they pile patch the silly down. They put a rock on it and let it settle, and then they did that. But then they would catch them when they were close in the area. But 
I know what Larry's saying, sometimes those those spots are easily missed. Uh, I think the biggest thing is just having an active list rolling so when they're in that area they can just run over there. That, that is well and he wanted to set them pretty good for a while because yeah, yeah and, and they 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 get them, yeah. But that, that is what we to do. They get rid of a cop. Yeah. They yeah, you're just, that, you're, that was overlooked last year, but normally they, they get them when they're in the area. We try our best to get that yeah, done. Yeah, There's a photo picture been out there. To, it needs to go. But I, I tell you, the I tell you what we need to do is get with Nick and uh, make sure that we, because I know he's still new to some of these these tiles that might be settling and everything, and make sure we got a good working list coming up because you know it'll be coming into painting season and we want to make sure we get them all caught yeah, up. Yeah, we can as they put the tile in, we just write down. Yeah, uh, make a list like you say, Joe. Then. We follow up with the public factor. Yeah, that's all I got. Thank you, Justin. Uh, same thing with Renetta. Thanks a lot. I know we all appreciate it, sir. And, that's um, cool. and then, Judge, as a precaution, I probably want to ask this court to, um, I don't have a, uh, a written resolution in front of you, but yes, uh, just right. the uh, resolution to allow my judge, myself and the judge to apply for a community corrections grant. Uh, we thought the date was February 28th. Jody, the system shows, still shows that you can apply as of March 15th. Okay, so, so we didn't submit it? We didn't, we didn't have the certain uh, 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 documents to be able to do by then, but they had, it had on their system where you apply by the 15th. Well, so, I just lied to Seth there, so I'll have to correct myself. <laughs> yeah, so it's, uh, it should be, the, uh, should be on the 15th. Okay. And so we just need a resolution to allow the judge or myself to sign any documents or make application for that. No matching funding. Okay. Why well, don't we do that? And, and Randy, you'll need to give it a uh, number, but it'll be just like a motion. Just uh, text me if you don't. I'll make the motion. Care or I'll, I'll send it an email. Okay, that'd be perfect. Okay. Motion by Larry Marquis. Jody. Second, Sam Small. Any uh, any discussion or questions? Being none, I'll say aye. Aye. Opposed like that? That motion carries. Thanks, Judge. Uh, I, too, want to uh, thank uh, Renetta for her time and with the hour a minute if she wants to say something to, to the group. Well, I'd just like to thank her for, you know, working with me through the years. Uh, I'd like to think that we have uh, together made some kind of an impact to uh, Ohio County and the employees of the county, and, and I believe we've done that. I'll continue to do what I can for Ohio County. Appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. Renetta, how many years did you work for? Almost nine. Oh, okay. Are they been You were just 60 when you went to work, were you? <laughs> 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 I'm just cutting out girls. I don't miss that, right? <laughs> Hey, Judge, she we have a four o'clock budget workshop before the next fiscal court meeting. Oh, my. I forgot about that. Four o'clock before the next court meeting, which is in two weeks, we'll we'll have a budget workshop in here. And I want I want to meet with all of you individually. We'll be calling you at your convenience and we'll work it out. I want to personally present each one of you the budget individually. The twenty third. March twenty third. March twenty third. Yeah, four o'clock with the budget workshop. Right. I was actually going to bring that up. Oh, I almost forgot what we were talking about. But uh, I'll call you and see when I can get you. I'll make a motion to adjourn it. We'll, uh, well, everybody we'll in favor, let's get up and go home. Uh, this means adjourn. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah.